Hey everyone, welcome to another How to Webflow. In this video tutorial, I'll be answering Kevin's request. He wrote, can you do a tutorial on how to copy this slider? And what he's talking about is on this website. And what it basically is, it's a progress timer for each slide. Now, in Webflow, there is an interactions feature for different Webflow components, like the nav bar, the tabs, and of course, the slider. So in order to do this, you need to know a little bit about Webflow interactions and how they can uh, uh, manipulate different uh, elements on the page. Also, you need to know how to use the Webflow slider component, right? But I'll be showing you how to do both of those. Ready? Here we go. All right, here we go. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to let's uh, let's add a section. I'm just going to make this 100 VH and we're going to center everything with Flexbox vertically centered. And I'm going to put in a let's put in uh, no, let's put in a regular div and oh, we need to center that div. So let's go ahead and take this section again and center justify and then with this div this is where our slideshow is going to go so let's give this a width of mm, not sure not sure okay i'm going to give this a width of like 1100 max width of 100 and then grow if possible there we go call this slider holder <clears throat> all right now let's go ahead and put in my slider Drag that in, all right, and let's go ahead and make this, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and set the height of this to auto. I'm gonna force it, okay, and also the mask also has a height of auto, and the reason why I do those two things is because Webflow adds a height for the slider and mask of 400 pixels, all right, so to make sure that that, that doesn't happen, I'm going to set these both to auto. Okay, I'm going to force it. Now for slide one, I'm going to add a div block and set that div block to, let's give it a height of 500. Okay, and I'm going to give this a name of photo. And now uh, for photo one, I'm going to give this a background uh, of my first photo, set it to cover, center, no repeat. Now I'm gonna, what I can do is I can delete slide two and then copy slide one and paste it twice. There we go. And now I'm gonna go to slide two and change this photo, duplicate the combo class, say two, and change the background image. There we go. Same thing with slide three. Duplicate the class, change the background image. There we go. And now we have our slider done. Okay, so basic slider. But now we need it to autoplay. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on slider. Go to the element settings panel. And now we're going to autoplay the slides. Now we need to remember, okay, we need to remember uh, how much of a delay there is. So right here, there's 4,000 milliseconds. Okay. Um, I'm going to, let's go ahead and set this to 10,000. Okay. So it's like 10 seconds. Now, um, when that happens, if I preview this, it waits 10 seconds. Maybe I should have kept that on four. Ah, let's go back to four, <laughs> 4,000. All right. So it's going to wait four seconds and then switch on its own. There we go, and switch on its own. So the slider is done, we've set that up. Now we need to go ahead and make our uh, loader indicators, our timer indicators, right? So I'm going to put in a, another div block under the slider, okay? And we're gonna call this uh, slider content uh, row, uh, whatever you want. Push this away. 
And there we go. And this one is going to be flex box because I want three columns. All right. So let's put in the first column using a div block. And we're going to call this uh, column grow if possible. Copy, paste, paste. And there we go. Now we have three columns. Each column is going to have a padding of, say, 20 in between. Uh, I mean, 20 on all sides. And now we can go ahead and start putting content. Um, let's just put in text blocks and call it slide one. Paste that in here, paste that in there. Call this slide two, slide three. And now we need our indicator bars. So I'm going to put in another div block. And this div block, we're gonna call this um, indi indicator. And um, or should it call indicate should progress bar there progress bar and the height let's make it five and give this a color background of something like that a light gray and lastly we're going to set this position to relative because we're going to have the actual growing bar inside of this so we're going to put a div block inside of that progress bar like this and uh we're going to call this uh progress okay and you can name these whatever you want uh and now we need to set this to position absolute and set it to the left. Okay. And lastly, we're going to give it our, a color, uh, any color you want to indicate that, Hey, it's full. All right. So we're going to give it uh, this color. And what we want it to do with interactions is, is going to, it's going to start its initial appearance is going to start at 0%. But as the timer goes by, it'll grow like this, okay, from zero to 100. So we're just gonna keep the width to 0% for now. And we're going to give this a combo class of one. Okay, so this is important. We need to give it a combo class of one because we're going to target this one for the first slide. And now, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the second and third, okay? So now with this progress bar selected, we're going to copy and paste it in both. And now in each progress, we need to duplicate the class and give it a different number. Same thing here. Duplicate the class, give it a number. There we go. All right, so our elements are ready to go. Our sliders set, our Progress bars are set. Now we need to do interactions. So here we go. I'm going to click on slider. I'm going to click on the interactions uh, tab. Click plus. And okay, I need to select a slider. Whoops. So not the slider itself. I need to select the slide. And now there we go. Slider change. I'm going to click on slider change. And when this slider is in view, do something. So I'm going to start an animation, press plus, and we're going to call this slide one progress. And now I'm going to target this first one right here. Plus, I'm going to set, uh, press plus and set the size. And see, notice how it says progress and then a combo class of one. This is why we set those other combo classes. All right. So this only affects the first bar, All right? So it's initial state is 0%. And on the end, we're going to set the size and the final width is going to be a 100%. And we're going to set the duration to four seconds, all right? So it should look like this, all right, cool. And now when it's done, okay, so it's gonna go like that. 
So when the slider is out of view, we're going to start animation. We're going to press plus and we're going to give it a name of slider one complete. Target the first progress bar. Set the size to 0%. So we're resetting it. And we're going to set the duration to zero seconds. Okay, we want it to happen instantaneously. So if we preview, boom. Okay, now let's go back to slide one. There we go. And gone. Oh, okay, so the reason why it didn't autoplay is because what Webflow does is if the user interacts with the slider, autoplay turns off. Okay, but we have the interaction and it still does this. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and finish up, uh, finish up with the other two bars. So slide two, rinse and repeat. Slider change with the interaction, start animation. And what I can do to make this faster is I can duplicate my animation, select it, rename it to slider two progress, hold shift so I can select both of these, right click, change target, and choose this one. Done. I can do the same thing with slide out of view, start animation, duplicate this one, change the name to, oops, slider two complete, right click on the, on the target element, choose the other one. There we go. It says progress two. So that's what I want. I'm done with that one. Finish up with slide three. Slider change, start animation, duplicate, change this to slide three progress. Click the first, hold shift, click the second, right click, change target, and choose the last bar. And lastly, slider out of view, duplicate the animation, change the name, right click on the target, and choose the last one. And now it is done. Cool, yeah. So that's about it. Um, yeah, like I said, the only quirk with this is that um, autoplay completely turns off on the Webflow slider once the user interacts with one of the slider arrows or one of the slider dots. But you can also set the arrows and the slider nav to display none, so that way users can't click on those. All right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. If you have a suggestion for a future tutorial video, let me know in the comments below as well. Uh, go ahead and if you haven't already done so, click the subscribe button, the like, and the notification bell. Uh, either than that, follow me on Twitter at ThePixelGeek. That's it. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.